Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to our Humankind Victor Open Dev. Uh, this should be our final episode for this playthrough. We're about to hit that turn 150 mark. I don't know if we can get to the next um, era before then, but we'll try our best as we come back to our mighty Dutch trade empire here in the early modern. Uh, we basically got to know everyone on the map. We're trading with everyone who's decently happy with us. Uh, some of our close neighbors don't like us. We can't really help it with that. And we're going to try to claim more territory. I don't see any land here, so it's hard for us to find it there. But if we time it right, we can get to this part and claim this one, which will help us get another one of our uh, bonuses. Claiming this new continent here, this, this is pretty nice. We got silk, we got incense, and a lot of other good stuff. So we can keep moving. Ooh, speaking of keep moving, mercenaries, czars. Are these like the barbarians? They have a city. Well, that's interesting. I thought no one claimed. Oh, someone claimed it, but it's not any factions here. So barbarians? Anyways, you're trying to get over here, and we'll end turn. We're selling resources, which makes us the most money, as the Dutch. Oh no, violence. Not violence with us, of course, but violence in general. Alliance I propose. offer an excellent proposition. Oh. I must ask my people. I mean, she's pretty peaceful. I mean, I will accept more peaceful. Glorious, it glorious. New treaties. Let it be so. Did I do something to offend you? Free trade. Wait, she's behind though, but I'm pretty behind on science. I'm gonna someone discover the Nile River? Wait, when did this all happen in the same turn? The Annual River too. Okay, anyways. Um, I guess now we can just, we're, we're, we're friendlier with them, we'll just buy everything. Okay, anyways, back to the game. Um, we're pushing out districts over here. get level 2 food on river but as you can see we're not getting any food on river because we have no rivers in our land it seems to have timed out a unit of two pikemen and two longbowmen. We're building something here already. Right, they can build it, but where's their harbor? Like, I cannot build a harbor for them, which is pointless. We're building a harbor for them right now. Which we can use 5,000 population, five, five population, which we're not going to do anymore. We're not going to sacrifice population. We need our population. All right, we're good. He's going to have to wait a turn. He needs two movement to get to here and then cross over the next turn. Wait. Stay one turn here. You're not going to die. Don't worry. 
something to make our affairs more civil? Open borders. Yeah, I sure. I must ask my people. This will be a blessing for all parties. I accept. At the catch. Independent people. Oh, we can wait for them to fall. That's sad, but they picked up very nice land here. Anyways, we're just gonna get this chain of islands here for our extra aero star. Wait, wait for the longbowmen, friends. Highway robbery. Despite efforts to secure their capture, the leader of the highway robbery, uh, 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 highway robberies have evaded justice. Farther attack resulting in more merchants robbed of their precious cargo. But over the past few moons, the raids have tailed off to nothing. Attempts to determine the highwayman's identity have been met with stony silence. Perhaps because it's rumored they gave their spoils to the local poor. Who knows? Uh, we have a Robin Hood situation, huh? But the gain's gone. Maybe this is Sherwood. We've been picking, you know, Celts, English. I mean, Dutch is on the other side of the strait, but new grievances. Oh, speak! You guys again? You attacked me. Wait, wait, wait! You attacked me. Over here. Not a lot of options here. Had to defend our flag. They attack first. From the low ground. Okay, sure. How much damage should we deal back? We took 16. How much did they take? I mean, they're anti cav. We're on the high ground. Let's get some defense bonuses. They should attack from here. Oh, they're trying to move over. While well, we're losing so much health. Should we attack? I don't think so. I think we should try to last the three turns. This is my territory, right? No, wait. Yeah, this is my territory. That was okay. Alright, we won. I'm in my territory. It's probably because it's a cliff that we cannot build a port here. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're building our dumb port here. <laughs> it's almost done. Which means we can attach and then... We'll, we'll let that finish and, and then we, we'll, we'll help it out. ourselves another tech. Let's pick up some easy ones so that we can actually get the star before turn 150. We'll stay Go up. We discovered an independent city. That's nice. A game mechanic we didn't know about. Alright, we're safe. We're gonna claim it I guess anywhere. Here. All bad. Our new army. Honestly, if we keep pumping out armies like this, we can probably overtake this city. But we're not a warring faction. Yeah, those are rather wasteful. A better ship. Hmm, a better ship. It's still only four movements. It's not faster. That's what's kind of bad. Give me another army. I approach you as a friend. A friend who has been wronged. They need my help. 
I, I don't know what to say. I think we have been very helpful. Ten two four six ten two. It's, it's ten two or four six basically. Oh four eight, right four eight. Four six ten two. Fourteen two. Production's hard to get here, so I'm gonna go with the production one. We go over here, discover as much, like, can we circumnavigate? It looks like we can, right? If we go here, we cross over all this, and we're back to our side. It's the spears. Wait, wait for your friends. Maker's quarter complete. Hmm. Oh, we need to get some of these basic buildings done. Yeah, these are all important ones. We have so much money now, we can do that. And that should be the silly port finished. No, the silly port over here. That's the one we finished. Oh, now we have a long way to go. Um, yeah, it's probably a farm spam out this way. That's a lot of cash, but we can afford it. Repopulation? No. We'll just wait for more money. kill off three people for and then back to extracting stuff for us and also extract that afterward good uh -huh. curiosities Just gonna go back and fill all the easy stuff. I can't believe we haven't built that yet. Or that. Or that, really. And then I want a fort here and a fort here, maybe. And we'll use the mountains to defend the rest. This army's ready. Share logistics. Are you interested? Units can be upgraded within. Yeah, sure. Within each other's territories. We're bound. That's our attitude. Eight of us are bound. 
Um, I don't want to keep the units here, actually. I feel like they're just going to pick me off if I stay here. All right, our great plan to traverse the seas. Oh, it's blocked by a mighty piece of land, but we have discovered Lake Hillier. Magical. What well, algae is responsible for that color pigmentation? I mean, we don't have any. I mean, we'll, we'll build the basic stuff. Yeah, we're pretty safe. Expedition for the state. A well-connected foreign sailor has approached your court seeking funds to mount a naval expedition. It is Christopher Columbus. He seems a driven, ambitious man, stunned by the expedition's rejection by his own country. Definitely Christopher Columbus. By sailing from the grand maritime city of Feng Hao, he believes he can discover a new, more efficient route to distant land by sea. What do you see? Uh, what do you say? We fund him. Chance of good consequence. We oversee it. Make it more favorable. His energy can still be harnessed. We can spawn a new army. Or decline. I want to get a follow-up. I don't really care for a new army. We'll fund him, just as in history, when Christopher Columbus went to Spain. The wonderful lake, and we are going to get a boost here. We don't have enough to straight up buy it, but we'll take a boost, which is actually enough. It just doesn't take that many turns here. Yeah, right now I just care about sheer number of tech, so I'm going to pick up the easiest ones possible. Do something clever today. Sign this treaty. Yes, I Give agree. me a moment to think. Let me look at your map. You're a land that I have not found yet. Oh. So they have not found... I mean, no one has found these. Indo-Japan... Wait, yellow's... Quite stretched. They're over here as well. And over here. Hmm. Well, we thought we were a huge territory. Anyways, run to our recruitment site. Oh no, it's a bay. There goes any shot of us circling the globe. Plus 10 science. Plus some influence for theater. Hmm. I don't think the silly city needs to spawn out anymore. We do have quite a few makers quarters, so let's do that. buy this. We'll build some more Jantula for them. Maybe a few bowmen to support them. Merchant Star, we finally made enough money. Someone bought our Mercury. Good. Good, good, good. We are at three stars. Oh, the next jump is huge, but maybe we'll get there. Seven, six, seven more districts. Yes, I understand how it works. I understand people are buying our stuff, which is great. Well, we bought everyone's stuff so that we can sell everyone's stuff. Yeah, we'll take the basic stuff. I know we have only one river, but...
All right, we should build more districts. We're seven short for our, our final mission there. Mm, that's not where the synergies are the greatest. And the question here is, as we build out our farming district to the edge, there's a lot of nice forest tiles that we're kind of destroying. Instead, we can keep these and add 24. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to finish just to see if I can get the food back here. Yeah, so it gets some different type of synergies. a lot of production. Boom. Twenty. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah, the synergy is kicking in. Let's do that. Keep all these tiles going. Our first garrison. Now it's not the English garrison anymore. We get some vision on the garrison. That's something we need. Extra stability on the garrison. City watch. Ooh. Andrew is here. Build one. Two. Two longbowmen to support that unit. Now, do we want to attach you? That's kind of what we want to do earlier. Our expansionist star. There we go. Attach territories. Three stars left. Tech. Build. Population. Six turns. Can we do it? VOC first. Although I don't really love the placement. This would be better. Actually, I'm not sure if that will be better. We lose four food. Like, we could food spam this sector, lose two food here, lose a lot of production here. Hmm. No, we don't have time for that. Let's just get as much money as we can. We'll stay here. Wait for your buddies. Yeah, we're not gonna circumnavigate. Doesn't look like it. we have to hug the borders back. Our units are on the border. We can definitely crush this if we want. Send these four units in. Come over here. And attack. It'd be pretty simple to take that. But then we'll just be in an all blown out war with them again. I, I, I just don't want to fight. Rather build. I know we can kill 15 units and then also we'll keep advance by getting a star. But also not interested in that. Someone has joined the early modern. Yeah, we can stay one turn in the... Ooh, a different independent city, isn't it? The Bretons. Yeah, different independent city for sure. Oh, you guys still have to wait a turn. Station. Station. I offer an excellent proposition. Yeah, let's try it. You have coffee. You didn't tell me you had coffee. Let me take a look at everyone to see if have we a have seat. everything have a glass. they have. Let's get to know each other. Your empire is an enigma. Is it now? What do you want now?
a great deal for you. We're neighbors. Greetings. Obviously, there's going to be friction. Can you guys not go to war with us? Your proposal is too much of a ball and chain good, good, on my good. ambitions. Things change. See, you Demand withdraw withdrawn. one thing and we, we end up buying everything. Not as foolish as you seem, eh? You show wisdom. How do you do? In every sense of the question. All right, they're dead. I, I'm, I'm convinced they're dead. That, that's why we cannot talk to them. You have some nerve! You are a very tough neighbor. I'm not going to ask for it. Okay. Let bygones be bygones. Mm. What imagine? He has a lot of war support. I don't really want to mess with him. Oh, we're building it. That's a free city. I can't claim that. Um, Everyone, I can get over here, maybe claim that. I see some land finally in this zone. We have another army ready. I'm going to put this army into here. And you're just going to get your basic stuff built. I want more districts, don't I? How many? One more district. Okay. The thieves of the sea. Oh, first bandits, now the pirates. Transoceanic trade is flourishing, but such richly veined routes are attracting vultures of the high sea. Pirates are rumored to be planning audacious raids on ship near the wealthy city of Haojing. Unless the empire responds, wealth that should go to the city is likely to go into the pockets of the scoundrels. What is the right move? Secure. Draft the workers to shoreline watchtowers. We make them overproductive. Or we recruit uh, privateers. We spawn the army. Well, I'm not going to encourage privateering because we are the only faction that rules the sea. So we will just eliminate the pirates. There's no foreign trade that I want them to hunt down for us, essentially. I mean, yeah, we get an army of ships. I'd rather get this. Ah, selling more resources, expanding our riches. Mayan has renowned merchants, some violence have halted, we are being plundered. Excuse me? You're plundering my port? Are we at war? What do you think you're doing, Aztecs? Medieval era Aztecs? Well, I don't have the energy to deal with him right now. Uh, these movement killing things. I have to stay in here. Get away from me. Next turn. Wait. We can upgrade it, can we now? Ow. Ah, uh, we need to be in a... current place that we don't need to disband. We need to be on friendly territory basically. Buy that. Builder star has finished. Two stars away. Three turns. Population definitely. We're gonna be one star short I think. I don't think we can get 20k in three turns as much as we much as we think we can. Uh, 
we can attach. We can attach you. But I don't want to defend you, so. No. Yeah, we are not attaching anyone. We're gonna pop our basic infrastructures. I'll let you finish your basic infrastructure and start pumping us out. Hmm. Not much to do with a few turn left. Yeah, finish that synergy. Right, we, we're locked out of all wonders because they still think we're building one, or else we have so much points we can buy another one. Machu Picchu has been built by Japan. Redistribute 50% food from cities to all cities. That would be so good for us. Uh, we missed out on wonders this playthrough because of what happened. That's my only complaint. We got our population star. I don't know how we can get another star in the next two turns. We finally caught up. Got it. And we'll go around them. Happy now? Skip turn, I can't end up in the waters again. Hey, you arrived. Up on no 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 wrong wrong wrong. We gotta go over here. Yeah. Our final two turns. A lot of people believe in our religion, except for we don't believe we're secular now. We can end our turn here. We don't have the. We didn't end in the last turn. Money can do anything. Uh, I'll open the farm here. Actually, why don't you build a harbor for us? It's not showing me how much resources I can get. I guess it doesn't matter. Final turn. Turn 150. End of your journey. You'll be remembered as serious trivia. Mythical ruler of the Dutch. Of the Dutch. <laughs> Mythical rulers. Oh, may we buy, oh, we, we used it, right, we can't, it's not offering us to buy one, sure. New grievances, don't care, violence, they're renowned as thief, what do they do? Oh, they're looting us, right, thieves. This is as far as the globe as we, we peeked at one little hole. I mean, we kind of could figure things out at this point. That this globe is round. Uh, Hao Jing, oh no, this is Feng Hao, has built all the infrastructure he can. Um, and we'll even patch up this last piece here. And we'll just complete it. Nice big city, as you can see, it's walled off the entire half here. Everything is covered. Little 
Ah, the, the, the harbor is gone. Like, I have to rebuild it. Those vile people. And this city also pretty nicely shaped around a mountain. Kind of went far on that side. Also, all the infrastructure built. Holding our great capital. Who is going to sacrifice some people at the end uh, to get all the infrastructure done. Now, poorly built city. We had a very poor grasp on the city, how it, how it is set up at the time. So, a bit unfortunate there. But uh, next time we'll learn. Next time we'll learn. On idle city. Oh, we rushed it, didn't we? Well, let's expand out this way. And we end the game at 6,150 fame. One star short of reaching the next era, industrial age. Uh, you guys can't just station. Neolithic nomadic tribe. We discovered to Ah, oh, it's telling us how we gain our fame. So they're our first holy site. Oh, we got our seven star or however many stars we end up getting. We spent too long in the ancient period. I think we overdid the star accumulation. I mean, given the time frame, the game is 150 turns. We were still influence powerhouse at this point, and then we just fell behind. Too much food. I still really like the English bonus. The three production on farm. It's very, very, very nice. Even without the synergies with all our other farming stuff that we have done. And the Dutch! Man, what a money powerhouse. In a short period of turns, we just became so rich. And that's our final score. 6,150. I don't need to see everyone else's. In third place, we have the Akawaho. In second place, Kita, our neighbor. Wait, isn't he? Oh, his best era. Our best era was Dro. Okay, so despite the fact we spent a lot of time there, it contributed most to our points. So, not bad. Uh, basically, we raced out ahead against the AI, and we got a bunch of points there in certain categories where we were strong. And then once we were in later era, we fell behind in a lot of other categories that was very hard to catch up on, I guess. So it's kind of balanced in a sense, uh, but we dominated second place. We almost doubled their score. Our longest war, our best city, number of curiosities found. We ex <laughs> Our hunting party explored quite a long time. Progress was our longest ideology, the civic sides of things. It's the same artwork, but different words. Okay, it's a little bit harder to um, consider. Anyways, that was really, really fun. Um, food. Food. <laughs> you can see we're middle of the pack. We're doing well. We're building some districts. And then the second we hit into our Celtic era and the Nematode, it just took off. Um... I think we lost our capital here, that was that war, so we lost a lot of our food, but then we took it back and then just kept going. Money should also be very funny. Look at us, no cash. The second we became Dutch, zoom. And that's the bubble, the tulip bubble, and then <laughs> and that's what's coming up next. Industry, also, uh, the second we became, I mean, we were doing fine the whole way due to holy sites, and then when we became the English and then we started continue our farm uh, spam. We lost our capital, but it, it just kept going. Yeah, we fell behind in influence throughout because we, we took on Drow. This was kind of our peak. 
and then it stayed a little bit. We didn't build any other additional building. We lost our wonder construction, which I think hurt quite a bit, and then we just never really recovered. That war hurt. They took our, see this is them taking our capital, and then them losing our capital, along with other land, but then they bounced back pretty nicely. Hmm. Interesting chart for stability. All these dips are us sacrificing our population. <laughs> he took our capital once again. We surprisingly didn't lose much because we only lost that one city, I guess. The territory population still stayed. They had a lot of territories attached. We became secular at this moment. We were not that behind on research, surprisingly. But we're just not ahead as much anymore. I guess we were never ahead. Trade. Only after becoming the Dutch. We could trade more earlier. That would help us with relations, I believe. Yeah, three cities was our cap. Yeah. Second place, they did quite well. 15 territories controlled. Anyways. Let's give them some feedback. This is the whole point of the open dev. Hi, it's Will again. Back to say a few words. First and most obviously, thank you for playing. We really hope you enjoyed the experience. Again, Keep in mind that this was just a glimpse of what the full game will have to offer. The scenario you just played was specific to the Victor Open Dev. Now, if you have time, we'd really appreciate getting your feedback. The dev team have created a survey that will help us to make humankind the best historical strategy game it can be. If you're interested and want to know more about this, come and join the community on Games Together. Thank you again for playing, and thank you for leaving your mark on humankind. Alrighty, let's do a survey. We are in the US. Oh, let's go, 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 stay in this. <laughs> and then we select the UK. It's really jumpy. There we go. I, uh, turn-based strategy games, I regularly play this genre. I mean, Total War is kind of a turn-based strategy game too. I do play a lot of Civ before. How did we hear about Humankind when they did the review? I know the game for quite a long time. How many times did you come? Unfortunately, only once. I wish I could play it four plus time, but there's just no time for me. How would you rate your overall experience? I am very satisfied, would love to play more. How would you recommend Humankind Open Dev to a friend? I highly recommend it. Yes, I would definitely try it. Um, unfortunately, this is the last day, but next time when they have the next one, they had Lucy before, they have Victor now, I'm pretty sure they might do another one before launch. Uh, how would you like recommend Humankind game to a friend based on your experience? I would highly recommend it. You could try to maybe pre-order the game from our Nexus game store to help support the channel too. Check it out in the link under the description below. Battle illustration, how difficult it is to win battles. Um, it wasn't hard. Let's do somewhat easy. I wouldn't want to say very easy either because I think what they need to do is like make things a little bit more clear. Like, I was very confused when the first war happened. Oh, I played on Metrop- I played on normal difficulty, which felt easy. Uh, somewhat too easy, maybe. I mean, I could up it, but we didn't get a chance. How interesting with the battle. Ooh. Depends on the terrain. I'm going to be pretty neutral here. Like, the way I was fighting the wars is basically war of attrition. I had better production, so I was just pumping out units and 
delegating the fights knowing that I have more units than they will. The, the fact that you can deploy units on a small area of the map, use terrain, it's a nice idea. It takes a lot of planning on the player's part. It could be interesting. Yeah, I'm just going to be neutral here. How well did you understand mo unit movement in battle? Not really. That's the problem. Like, I look at a unit, I don't know how far they can move and attack on the same turn. If I can reach a certain place and attack. And then even if I reach there and attack, I don't know exactly. I mean, I would check out the value beforehand, but like planning it out, it's not super clear. Not really either. Yeah, I think it's clarity issue. I think that's that's pretty much it. Or my lack of understanding, perhaps. I didn't get to use the unit, unfortunately. I did not get to use this unit either. Was diplomacy presented? Yeah, I think diplomacy was okay. Uh, I was... Peaceful. I was okay with it. Um, not to the point where I say I liked it. I like the treaty structures, I like the trade. It's not like the trade's pretty clear, right? There's like a global market and there's like a travel distance and like if you have harbors, it's gonna be cheaper. That part is nice because I don't want to, you know, ask for X amount of gold. I think that's tedious. This is more of a realistic situation, even. The treaty attitude towards each other. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna say I like it actually. Uh, which falling element explain why you like diplomacy? I liked. Oh, that's a tough question. Did I like the AI's? I, I like the AI's reactions. Like if I traded everything to them, they were more friendly towards me. I didn't care too much about the dialogue. Hmm. Interesting choices. Like, I was unsure of which choices I should be making. I guess role-playing. We were all of a sudden a global trader as a Dutch faction. Construction screen. Overall, did you think the cost of construction? I think it was fine. Um, harbor was a little bit too expensive in terms of like rushing population. That's how I would judge it. Uh, other ones are pretty balanced. A couple turns, I think, is a reasonable amount. You don't want to see things like, you know, 30 turns, then you just feel like it never gets done. What did you think of the quality of choice of construction you had within your city? Mm. Oh, this is hard to answer. Um, overall, I feel like it was good. But let's say early game, I wanted to improve influence. There's not I mean, yeah, there's like one chain building that improve influence. I guess it's, I guess it's fine. I guess it's just you gotta go farther into tech to get them out. So I'm gonna just go neutral here. What was your favorite part of the scenario? I liked city management. I love the events. I love the ability to expand out the cities with territories. Uh, curiosity was not that cool. Natural wonders is always great, but. I wouldn't think it's up there. Diplomacy, iffy. Affinity ability, didn't get to use those very much. Didn't really play naval. Siege, the one, the war we won was, was also weird. Least favorite part, okay. I didn't love... Hmm. It would have to be the battle. All right, we're talking about leads, not things I hate, but I I didn't love diplomacy as much. I didn't. These are things I didn't do as much, and I definitely didn't siege. But that's not fair. I just didn't siege at all, so that's a different thing. Which of the following do you look forward to the most to experience in humankind? Uh, this, this. 
Oh wow, that would be good too, but what do I care about? It's already very beautiful. This would be fun. And that is it. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get too much into detail here. And we have answered our questions. We have finished our open dev experience. Hopefully you guys had fun watching this. And uh, hopefully we'll be back with more humankind content in the future. Unfortunately, we're not able to play another playthrough, uh, which is a bit sad since open dev is officially ending today. And I don't think I'm going to sit through a whole recording of another 150 turns. Uh, I might be playing the game a little bit myself uh, just for fun, but uh, you guys won't be able to see that. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the game yourself as well, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!